So I'm super excited to be making this video today because this Doc Martens video is going to be a little bit different than my previous videos. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little update on the Jaden Doc Martens. Um, I've owned these for maybe about a little over two years now. And let me tell you that these shoes have aged like fine wine. <laughs> I really believe that they are getting better and better over time. I'm so excited to show you how they've aged after two years and give you some details on the leather, how it feels. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, does these boots get softer over time? Do they still hurt after two years? And how did I break them in? If you're a Doc Martens fan like I am, make sure you like this video and you are subscribed to my channel because you really don't want to miss out on future Doc Martens videos. Every time I get a new pair of Doc Martens, I always make sure to review them on YouTube. Um, also, if you want to see how I style my boots, make sure you're following me on Instagram as well so you see all of my outfit of the day pictures. So I remember how excited I was about these boots when I first got them. And I have to say, I still really love these boots. I haven't gotten bored of them. And honestly, I don't think I ever will. The chunky platforms are amazing. And I love how it just makes me feel so tall. It gives me such a nice like silhouette. And because my legs look really long, I kind of feel like I'm towering over everyone. Like almost every pair of Doc Martens I own, um, Doc Martens have become really a closet staple for me. So no, I'm not bored of them. I still really love them. The Jaden Doc Martens are pretty versatile and this red is such a deep red that it almost looks black and it goes with every outfit. I love these boots because it always just takes my outfit to the next level. So I find myself wearing them a lot. If you're thinking about what color you should buy, I obviously think black is going to be the most timeless and the most versatile, but I have the red and the red almost looks black, so I find it to be really, really subtle. I also really like the color white. I don't have it, but I think white could be really versatile as well, and it's a color that you're just not gonna get bored of. If you're thinking about getting a crazy color like yellow or Hello Kitty ones or, you know, glitter ones, I think those are really cute as well, but I'm just not sure if you're going to be in love with it in a few years. What do you guys think? Do you guys have Doc Martens in a different color? And is it versatile? Do you ever regret getting that color? Let me know in the comments below. So it's always a little bit of a gamble when you choose a bright, fun color because you just don't know how you're gonna feel about that color in a few years. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Do you have a fun color? And do you ever feel regret about getting it? As amazing as Doc Martens might look, they have a horrible reputation of being so painful. And I have to tell you, the rumors are true. <laughs> they hurt so much when you first buy them, especially if you have wider feet, because I know it just rubs everywhere and it really is painful. That's why I'm telling you, these boots age like fine wine, because the longer you have them, the more comfortable they become. And the more and more you wear them, they start to kind of mold around your feet and they don't hurt anymore. I can wear them for hours and hours and they don't hurt. When I first got them, they really did hurt. So I started off slow by just wearing it around the house. I gradually started wearing them outside for longer amounts of time. I've read a lot of weird ways to break your Doc Martens, like using a blow dryer, um, showering with them. But honestly, I wouldn't try any of these methods unless I was absolutely desperate. But if they're new, just be patient. I wouldn't risk um, ruining your shoes or anything like that. It might take two or three months, depending how often you wear them to break them in. Make sure you wear thick socks with them and pull them up higher than your ankle here because you don't want this part rubbing against your skin. If I do walk for a really long time in them, and when I say a really long time, I mean like miles and miles and miles. My ankle does feel a little bit sore around um, where this part hits the back of my leg. Um, other than that, it doesn't really hurt my feet. It This almost feels like a bruise because it's constantly hitting the back of my leg, um, but no blisters, no bleeding, nothing like that. So these Jaden Doc Martens are about 180, which is not cheap. So you wanna make sure you're going to wear these a lot. You wanna make sure they're nice. You wanna make sure they're durable. 
If you live somewhere cold, these are especially going to be very useful because you're gonna wear them a lot. These are my go-to shoes when it's cold because they're really, really durable. I've worn these walking around in the snow and it just keeps my feet really nice and dry. I also have to wear these with really thick socks, so they're perfect for cold weather because your feet are just really warm. Also, I really love the way these boots look with, you know, an oversized jacket. Um, I just think it's a really cool, edgy look. So yeah, I wear these a lot in the winter. So I just want to show you up close how they've aged. The leather is incredibly stiff when you first buy them, which makes it really uncomfortable and painful to wear, but over time they do soften up a little bit. If you look at the toe here, there's a lot of creases, which means, you know, this is where I naturally bend my feet when I walk. So it has softened up a lot. When I first got them, this area was completely smooth and I couldn't even bend this part even if I tried. It was just so stiff and now I can actually bend them a little bit. So as your Doc Martens get softer and softer, these creases develop over time, which is actually a good thing because it just means that it's getting a lot more flexible. It still has this iconic Doc Martin shape and silhouette, but the leather has softened up so much, making it so much more comfortable. So I wanted to show you just how this color has aged over time. There's a few areas where the color has rubbed off a little bit, exposing more of that red color. You will get minor scratches on them, but honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. I actually prefer um, when the Doc Martens looks a little bit more banged up. It just looks a little bit edgier. It has more wear and character to it. When the leather gets scratched like this, it does remove some of that shiny layer. That area becomes less shiny than the rest of the shoes. Typically, you'll notice a lot of scratches around the heel or around the ankle, especially on the inside of the ankle. I think this is from the two boots rubbing together. I'm not really sure why this happens on the inside. As you can see, the color has rubbed off a lot here and this looks more red than the rest of the shoes. As you can see, there's a lot of creases around the ankle, which is actually a good thing because it just means the leather is softer, it's more malleable than it used to be. It just has more flexibility. It feels like I can actually move my ankles around and I'm not just like a robot. Before, I wasn't even able to bend this part, even if I tried, like it was very, very stiff. The thick platform soles are just as thick as they used to be. So I've worn these a lot, you guys, and the platform has not worn down at all. When I first got these, I wasn't sure if I should go with the thick platform or if I should just go with the regular um, soles, but I'm really glad that I decided to go with the thick soles because I wear these all the time. To be honest, it does make the boots feel a little bit weird, especially if you're not used to them. They kind of feel like clown shoes when you're walking in them. When you first buy them, they're going to feel very weird. It honestly feels like you're just like picking up your feet and putting it down like that because you're not really able to move your toes or your ankles all that much. So it does feel very weird when you first buy them, but I promise you it does get more comfortable. Over time, they are gonna soften up. You're gonna start to get used to how heavy they are and it's just, it's not gonna feel so weird anymore. I'm really happy I decided to go with the platform because even two years later, I'm still in love with the platform. I haven't gotten bored with it yet. And yeah, I don't regret it at all. I really love this style. Overall, I don't regret buying these Doc Martens at all. I wear them so much and they've just become a closet essential for me, um, especially in the cold weather. They're so versatile, and even in this red color, it just is very versatile, it's very subtle. Over time, the leather will become softer, and it's gonna become more and more comfortable. And I actually love these boots more now than when I first got them. I can see myself wearing these for many, many years to come. So if you are unsure if you should buy these Jaden Doc Martens, I would say just go for it. It's such a timeless piece. You can even buy these secondhand because they're so durable. Um, even if you're buying them secondhand, chances are they're going to be in great condition. If anything, it might be better to buy them secondhand because someone else did all the hard work of breaking them in for you. So they'll probably be even more comfortable than buying them brand new.
So if you're deciding if you should invest your money in Doc Martens, I hope this video was really helpful for you. Don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you see more Doc Martens videos. Also, if you want to see how I style my Doc Martens, make sure you're following me on Instagram as well. Um, I'll link it down below and that way you can see all of my outfit of the day pictures. I'll see you next time. Bye.